Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Terrible weather today, so we're going to do a little scientific episode. We're starting with a little bit of rubber, any kind, just take any kind of rubber band that you have. And then we feel the temperature with the most sensitive organ we have in our body. And that is your upper lip. <laughs> so we take the rubber band and feel it with our upper lip. And the temperature is just normal. It's room temperature, of course. But now we take a little stretch and pull out as hard as we can and feel again. And you will notice that it is really, really warm. And if we release it again and feel, then it is cold. Far colder than room temperature. Slingshot shooters that shoot full butterfly know that effect because when you draw out like this, then you can feel it as well. Very warm, very, very cold. Now let's make a real science experiment out of this. We replace the upper lip with this laser pointed thermometer. And we have this. This is just a length of Thera band and it's mounted to a lever. And what I can do is I can swing the lever over and then you can see that the rubber is stretched. And then I can release it again and it will be relaxed. Let's test the temperature of the environment. It's my unheated workshop. So, we have temperatures of about 11.9 degrees Celsius. And this is also about the temperature of the relaxed rubber band. Now let's swing the lever, like this. And if I test the temperature now, it is like 18, 79, so it's about 18 degrees. So it's, it's now about, as you can figure out, about 6 degrees co uh, warmer than room temp temperature. Now we wait until the stretch band has cooled down to room temperature, which will take about, I don't know, maybe 15 seconds. It's now at 13. Fair enough. Now we relax it and test the temperature again. So we are at 6. What does that mean? It means that in stretched condition it is 6 degrees warmer than room temperature and when you let it cool down and relax it again it's 6 degrees colder than room temperature. So we have a variation of 12 degrees which is quite a lot. What is the application that we have for this new knowledge? Well, we'll make a refrigerator out of it and we'll use it to cool the only thing a man finds worthwhile cooling. Beer! <laughs> the idea is to take the beer, put it in here so that it sits in here, open the whole contraption, let it cool down, and once we're finished with the cool down, we close it so now the rubber band touches the beer and cools it down. Of course we'll have to do this quite often to make a difference, but it's worth it. <laughs> By the way we can also make some music because this is stretched so nicely that you could use it like a cheap guitar. <laughs> So let's test how cold it is now. Wow, 9 degrees. That was a fake. <laughs> it would take a long, long time, much longer than that, to bring it down to that temperature. But it is possible. You can bring it down 6 degrees below room temperature with that method. You only have to do it often enough and probably optimize the routine a bit. And um, therefore, we are using an empty bottle now, which we can make uh, colder much quicker. And use that, and we put it in, like this. It's been getting a little bit warmer, so let's test the room temperature again first. Current room temperature is about 14 degrees. And we test the temperature first. 
not surprisingly, it's about room temperature. It's about 14.4. And now we wait until the rubber bands have cooled down. Now we close it down. Oops. And let it cool for a moment. And then we test it again. We cooled it to down to 12 from 14. So with a single repetition, we cooled this thing down to centigrade, which is very significant. I think this really makes it the first rubber-powered cooling device ever presented on YouTube. And I'm very proud about that. This is the Swingshot channel, so everything we build must also be able to shoot something. We take this piece of a David sling, which is really used for like golf balls or stones, and you can whirl it around and then throw things with it. And now we're going to use it to turn this into a trebuchet. We tie one end of the David sling to the handle, and then we drive a nail into the handle and angle it forwards a little bit. The angle actually determines the shot angle later on. Then we tie a loop into the other end and put it over the nail. And then we put something down here, for example a golf ball, load it and shoot with it. One, two, three. <laughs> John from Texas sent me this wonderful natural fork. I think it's mesquite. Very nice. It's going to be a beautiful slingshot very soon. Well, that's it for today. cold. I hope you like this. Thanks and bye bye.